everybody. Just popping in to show you how to use the Michromatic preset set on Lightroom. Um, I prefer Lightroom Classic and I'm also going to show you how to do them on Lightroom CC as well so you can have access to the presets on your mobile device. So the first thing you're going to do is go to jordanheckler.com slash presets and this is where you can purchase them. Once you purchase them it's going to give you a link that expires in 24 hours where you can download the files. When you download the files, they're going to look like this. It'll be a zip folder called Micromatic Presets. So if you double click it and open it, it'll unzip the file and here are all the preset files. I have a PDF on how to get started in here that you can open. Um, it goes, you know, through pretty much what I'm going to show you right now in the video, but it walks you through um, via text. And you're going to import the presets into Lightroom. So I already have mine imported on my Lightroom, so I'm not going to go through this 100%, but you can basically just drag them to the um, Lightroom app right here, and it will ask you to import them, but I already have them. So once we're in Lightroom, I have pulled a couple of images that are very just like simple. I just took them on my trip out west, and this is the raw image. So I'm going to show you how each filter preset looks on the image. So we're going to go through. I have 1969, Cowboy, Do What You Want. Come on, buddy. Oh, no, it's mad at me. Do What You Want, Grunge, Microchromatic Life, and Noir, and Ramble On. And so with each preset, you're going to have to tweak a little bit of the settings depending on the photo um, because every photo will be taken, you know, with different lighting situations or with a different camera profile or, you know, whatever. So if you just put the preset on, it already makes a huge difference, but you can't just leave it like that. You kind of have to go and tweak some things. So typically what I think will need to be tweaked for you when you use my presets will be the exposure and probably the white balance. So that'll give a huge difference depending on what your aesthetic is. Um, I like to pull the shadows up too, and I already have done that for you within these presets, but you still might want to play with that a little bit more as you modify it to your liking. So um, I'm going to reset this and go through another version of a filter. Here, let's see. Let's do the do what you want. So this has a little bit more contrast than I would like, even though it doesn't look like there's much on the screen. Um, I'm going to pull the shadows up a little bit because there's some bags under my eyes and I'm very squinty because <laughs> it was like 9,000 degrees in the desert. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'm going to increase the exposure some. And then I'm going to maybe give it a little bit of contrast. So that would be fine with me for that one. Uh, I'm going to reset it, and let's try a different image here. Let's try this one. So we're going to go through all of them again. My presets work really well with photos that have blue sky. Um, that's typically my aesthetic in general. So a lot of the samples I pulled have blue sky um, to show you how the turquoise tones really work. But I'm going to go through all of them on here again. And so as you can see, they're all kind of cohesive, but they're different. Like each preset is completely different. And you can totally have fun with modifying the settings for each to your liking. Um, they're all going to have a little bit of differentiation. And you are free to do what you want with them. Hey, hey. So that was just a quick overview on how to use the presets. Let me show you how to open them up in Lightroom CC. So if you have the Creative Cloud subscription, you should have access to all of the programs. Lightroom CC is the newer cloud-based service. I still prefer to use the Classic for all of my editing workflow, but if you open Lightroom CC, you now have the ability to um, sync all of your presets and everything to your phone. So this is pulling all these images from my camera roll, which is crazy. Um, but if you go to File, Import Profiles and Presets, you can do the same thing with those downloads that you just had. So I had the downloads here. You unzipped it. Go here. 
you're going to import all of these. And once you import them, they will be available down here if you click presets. So here's like an image I took on my phone yesterday. It's probably not even that good. I was going for a walk and took a bunch of pictures. So let's just see if any of these work. Let's pick something with a bluer sky. Okay, so now the user presets are gonna be right here. And so you should be able to do these all on your phone. If you go into the Lightroom app on your phone, it's free to download. Download it and download um, the Lightroom. I just said that, sorry, I'm still early. I'm still needing some more coffee. And um, you should be able to access them under the presets and then they will all be right there. So here's a fun way to synchronize all of your branding efforts. If you like any of these presets and you modify them and update them to your own presets, those will also be available in your user presets on your phone. So I encourage you all to go out and toy around with this with your own photos.